We shouldn't be the two mains. We should be one main, working for the same goal, for the same people. We are one people. Maine is not just the ocean. Maine is the inland hills and the mountains and the high peaks, lakes and ponds. But Maine is its people. It's people who have a warm and welcoming heart. It's people who have a tremendous work ethic. People in my hometown, Farmington, they don't put up with bullies. They expect you to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. So when I got to be your attorney general, I faced down the biggest bully this state has ever seen, Governor Paul LePage. The first thing he wanted to do was to take thousands of kids off of health care in our state. I said no. He sued in federal court. I fought back and I won. And we kept thousands of Maine kids on health care in our state. I'm proud of that. When the governor said he was vetoing the bills that would have provided life-saving drugs to opiate abusers, I bought a room full of that drug and I've delivered it to 55 different law enforcement agencies in the state of Maine. We've saved 237 lives. I guess it's in my nature to try to protect people who can't fend for themselves, but I also know that I can build coalitions across the state. And that's what I want to do as governor. I want to bring people together people I hear from are tired of partisan bickering. They're tired of the divisiveness, the polarization. While I was the district attorney, I met and married my husband, Stan Kuklinski. He was a widower with five daughters. Being a stepmother in her late 30s, I had no idea how to bring up five daughters, but did the best I could. Flashing forward 29 years after we were married, well, my husband had a stroke and uh, he, he spent a year in and out of hospitals and rehabs and nursing homes and the like and then uh, passed away in September of 2014. I realized that what we were going through, high deductibles and co-pays and the cost of pharmaceutical drugs, was no different than what thousands of Maine families go through every year, every day across our state. And it's those people I think about every day when I get up, go to the office and try to help the citizens of Maine. I want to be the next governor of the state of Maine because I think the best chapter in our state's history has yet to be written. I want a state where every senior has heat in their home. Every veteran has a place to go at night and a place to go during the day. Every child has an equal opportunity to education. And all new Mainers will be welcomed in our state with an open and loving heart. I've taken on the Wall Street Giants, Standard and & Poor's and Moody's, and I've won. Attorney General takes on Wall Street and wins. I've taken on the major pharmaceutical companies when they cheated Maine citizens and state government, and I won. I've taken on Volkswagen of America for violating our clean air laws, and I won. I've taken on Paul LePage time and time again, and I won. I'm ready to win this primary. I'm ready to win the election. I'm ready to win back the Blaine House for the people of Maine.